These animated videos are getting millions of views right now, and they look like they took professional animators weeks to create. But what if I told you I made this entire animation in just a few hours using only AI tools with zero animation experience? I'm talking about creating fully animated stories with consistent characters, professional voiceovers, and cinematic scenes that look like they were made by actual cartoon studios. And the best part is you don't need expensive software, you don't need to know how to draw, and you definitely don't need a team of animators. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact four-step process I use to create these animated videos from scratch. If you want to follow along, I'll leave links to all the tools in the description below. Let's get started. The first step is creating a script for your animated story. For this, I'm using ChatGPT, but you can use any AI writing tool you prefer. The key is being specific about what you want. I'll give ChatGPT a detailed prompt that includes the style, length, and main story elements. You can also find my prompt in the description below. Here's what I'm typing. Write a 30-second script for an animated short about a lonely street artist whose mural brings color back to a gray city. The story should show the city starting out dull and colorless. Then, as the artist paints their mural, vibrant colors magically spread from the artwork through the streets and buildings. Make it heartwarming and uplifting with a clear beginning, middle, and end. The main character should be visually interesting and the transformation should feel magical. What's important here is giving ChatGPT clear directions. I told it exactly how long the video should be, who the main character is, what happens in the story, and what kind of tone I want. This helps it generate much better scripts than if you just say, write me an animation script. ChatGPT just gave me this great script about a street artist in a gray, lifeless city who brings color back through their art. The city starts out cold with people walking around with their heads down. Then our artist sets up against a cracked wall and starts painting. As the brush touches the wall, colors spread out, climbing buildings and spilling into streets. It's short, it has that heartwarming feel, and it has a clear story arc. This is perfect for what we need. Now that we have our script, we need to create our main character, the street artist. For this, I'll be using Open Art's consistent character feature, which is absolutely incredible. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Go to Open Art and click on Storytelling in the top menu, and you'll find the consistent character option. There are three ways to create a character. Start with a description, start with one image, or start with four plus images. For this tutorial, I'll use the description method since we're creating a character from scratch. I'll click on Start with Description and write a detailed description of our street artist, a young female artist in their mid-twenties with messy red hair and paint-stained fingers, wearing a bright colorful scarf and casual clothes covered in paint splatters. They have a hopeful, determined expression and carry a worn backpack full of art supplies. Their design should be in a 3D animated style with expressive features and a creative, artistic look. The style should be warm and colorful with detailed textures similar to modern animated films. I'll also make sure to select the Pixar style to get that animated look we want. Now, I'll click Create Previews and Open Art will generate several options for what our artist could look like. I really like this version here, so I'll select it and give her a name. I'll call her Krista. Open Art is now training a consistent character model specifically for our street artist. This usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes, so I'll come back when it's done. Alright, our character is ready. Now, we can use Krista in any scene we want, and she'll always look consistent. If you've ever tried to create consistent characters with other AI tools, you know how frustrating it can be when your character looks completely different in every generation. Once you've created your character, you can place them in any environment, any pose, any lighting condition, and they'll still look the same. Now, let's create the main scenes for our animation. I'll go to create with character and start generating images based on our script. For the first scene, I'll write Krista standing in a gray, colorless city street with dull buildings and overcast sky, looking determined while holding art supplies, 3D, animated style, moody gray lighting. This looks amazing. Let's create a few more scenes following our script. For the painting scene, I'll write Krista kneeling in front of a cracked gray wall, dipping a paintbrush into a glowing can of colorful paint. The only bright object in the gray scene, 3D animated style, dramatic lighting on the paint can. I'll keep going and show them all to you once done. These images look incredible, and most importantly, Krista looks consistent in every single one. All her expressive features remain the same across all images, which is exactly what we need for a good animation. If you're not getting the exact results you want on the first try, don't worry. You can always regenerate or adjust your prompts. I often find that adding more specific details about emotion, lighting, and camera angle helps get better results. Now it's time to bring these static images to life. Open Art has an incredible image to video feature that can turn our still images into fully animated scenes. To animate our images, I'll click on Image to Video and select our first image. For the first scene, I'll write this prompt. Krista walks slowly through the gray city street, looking around at the colorless buildings with determination. People walking past with heads down, gentle camera 
camera movement following the artist 3D animation quality. And as you can see, it looks incredible. The movement is smooth and natural, and our street artist maintains their consistent appearance throughout the animation. When you're in the model selection, make sure you choose Kling 2.5. This is the newest version, and it gives you the best quality animations with the cleanest movement. You'll find it in the drop-down menu, where it says Select Model. Let's animate our other scenes. Again, I'll animate the rest and we'll be right back. These animations look amazing. The movement is natural, the expressions are lively, and most importantly, Krista, again, looks consistent throughout all of them. One tip I've learned is to be very specific about the type of movement you want in your prompts. Instead of just saying the artist moves, say, kneels down and opens their backpack, brush touches the wall and colors ripple outward, steps back with a satisfied smile. This gives the AI much clearer direction and you get way better results. For the next step, we need to add narration from our script. For this, I'll use Eleven Labs, which creates incredibly realistic AI voices. What I love about it is how natural and expressive the voices sound, perfect for animated storytelling. I'll head over to Eleven Labs and select a voice that fits our heartwarming story. I want something that sounds warm and gentle, like a narrator telling an uplifting tale. I'll select this voice here that has that storytelling quality. Now I'll input our narration. In a city that forgot how to dream, one artist still believed in color. With every stroke, the world remembered its heart. Sometimes all it takes is one spark of color to spread hope again. The quality of your narration can make or break your animated story, so take time finding the right voice that suits it best. You can adjust the stability and clarity settings in Eleven Labs to get exactly the sound you want. I usually keep stability around 50% for a natural conversational feel. In a city that forgot how to dream, one artist still believed in color. With every stroke, the world remembered its heart. Sometimes all it takes is one spark of color to spread hope again. Once I'm happy with how it sounds, I'll download the audio file. Now we have all our pieces ready. We have our animated clips showing the artist's journey from a gray city to a colorful one. And we have professional narration that brings the story to life. Finally, let's bring everything together in CapCut, which is a free editor that's perfect for this type of project. I'll import all our animated clips and arrange them based on our script. Then I'll add the narration at the appropriate moments. I'll line up the audio so it matches what's happening on screen. When the narration talks about the city forgetting how to dream, that's when we see the gray streets. In a city that forgot how to dream, when it mentions every stroke, that's when we see the colors appearing. When it talks about hope, that's when we see the final colorful city. For finishing touches, I'll add some background music that fit the tone of our story. I'll also add some sound effects like footsteps on wet pavement, the sound of a paintbrush on the wall, a shimmer sound as colors spread, and ambient city sounds with birds chirping at the end to make everything feel more immersive. Let's watch our final animation. In a city that forgot how to dream, one artist still believed in color. With every stroke, the world remembered its heart. Sometimes all it takes is one spark of color to spread hope again. And just like that, we've created a complete animated short with a consistent character, natural animation, and professional narration, all using AI tools and without any animation experience. So now, you know how to create amazing 3D animation videos. If you want to try this yourself, you can use OpenArt and all the other tools with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.